Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. We are gonna take a look and see what is going on in your current situation between you and your person. We are gonna look at Aries through Pisces. The timestamps will be listed down below. Feel free to check out your sun, moon, or rising placement. If you're interested in your own personal reading, my email address or my website are listed down below. I'm gonna start with Aries first. Aries, what's going on in your current situation with you and your person? Let's get a couple of cards for the overall energy. So we have signs, trigger, and separation. Okay, so you maybe had been seeing the signs with your person or you've been seeing signs that something is triggering this connection between the two of you and it has caused a separation or is about to cause a separation. And you could feel it, or you could be seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities letting you know that that is what is about to happen. So let's find out, how does your person see you in this current energy? Okay, so they see you as somebody who is maybe giving to one person, but not giving to them. You could be someone who is not necessarily treating them the fairest way. Yeah, they don't feel safe and secure. They don't feel stable. They don't feel like you are protecting them and this connection. How they feel about you is they feel like um, they're having a lot of negative thoughts about the situation because things keep getting triggered. Maybe there is someone else that's interfering in the connection, but they are having a lot of negative thoughts and feelings that things are maybe not gonna work out between the two of you and maybe it's inevitable that you are going to separate. Their actions is they are wanting to communicate with you. This is someone who is thinking about everything and how things may play out. They do feel like it could possibly cause a huge fight, which would cause the separation or breakup. Likely outcome is this person is going to spend a little bit of time in introspection mode to try to uncover what the truth is. They're gonna to try to use their intuition to guide them on making the best decision possible when it comes to what they should say to you. But they do have some secret feelings or emotions that maybe they haven't expressed or they might actually hold back from you. Your channeled song is I Miss You by Blink182. Taurus. Okay, Taurus, your current situation with you and your person, what is the overall energy? Taurus and their person. Within a few months, solitude and inner child. So there's something that is going to be happening sometime in the next few months with you and your person. Your person is in this energy of possibly wanting to be in um, alone time, having time to themselves to figure some things out. They could have some inner child wounds that is coming up for them when it comes to this connection. There's something about this connection that's relevant. This person is thinking about long term. They are thinking about what the potential could possibly be with you long term and if they want to continue to invest in the situation. They are going to take a leap of faith and maybe spend some time and enjoy their freedom for a while while they're trying to figure that out. This is something that they're obsessively thinking about that they need to part ways momentarily so that they could figure out who they are as a person. Maybe they want to focus on these inner child wounds. Then they want to be able to try to come back towards you. But they're needing this separation and divide to figure out their passion in life, to figure out who they are as a person, and to work through these things. There is this likely outcome that they are going to come back around. This is something that they will openly communicate after the separation, but it's something that they do need to do. They've been juggling with it for a very long time, but in the end, they do truly desire to be with you. They just feel like you're the right person but the wrong time at this point in their life. Channeled song is Baby Love by The Supremes. Gemini. Four thirty-five. Okay, Gemini, your current situation with you and your person. What is your person's overall energy at this moment? Gemini. We have misunderstanding, karmic relationship, and obsession. Okay, so 
Your person may feel puzzled right now. There's a lot of questioning about this connection and what the intention of this connection is. Maybe something has completely shaken up the foundation of this connection between the two of you. They're obsessively thinking about it. Yeah, it does look like they wanna openly communicate about the misunderstanding. It's been causing a lot of confusion for your person. They're at a crossroads, feeling like maybe they got blindsided by a situation that keeps happening with the two of you. And they could be questioning whether or not this is a relationship that they're meant to learn something. If this is a karmic connection that they're not supposed to hold on to. They may slow things down with you because they're trying to figure it out. They are obsessively feeling like they things are very one-sided that the misunderstandings keep happening and you're not willing or wanting to see their perspective from things and they're wanting some type of sense of security that it's not going to be that way forever so the likely outcome is this person may decide that they want to pursue other options or other opportunities they do love you they do feel at some point that there is some type of compatibility or choice for the love to be with you but there's too much fighting all the time too much conflict and they may choose to disconnect and just focus on their work or other priorities that they have in their life. The channeled song is Let's Get It On by Marvin Gaye. Cancer. Six twenty-six. Okay, Cancer, your current situation with you and your person, what is their overall energy? Cancer and their person. What is the overall energy? Within a few weeks, forgiveness and distance. So this could be somebody that is at a physical distance from you, Cancer. But there is some type of um, action that's going to be happening sometime in the next few weeks. There's an apology or forgiveness that is needed in the situation between the two of you does look like there could be a major fight that's gonna happen in the next couple weeks, maybe with the holidays, maybe distance is causing issues, and maybe you're not feeling that this person is being consistent or persistent on seeing you. You want stability, you want structure, you want there to be some type of celebration, and you want this person to apologize for maybe not giving that to you. They are moving really slow at this time period coming towards you, but there is love. There is an offer of emotion in the near future from this person. They want to find peace in the connection after maybe a time period of hurt and disappointment. The likely outcome is they are coming towards you with um, having victory in mind. They know that they hurt you in the past. They're a little bit hurt also because of what transpired, but they're gonna continue to make plans for the future. This is someone who's gonna have an honest conversation with what their intentions are and their plans going forward. The channel song is Cold Heart by Elton John. Leo, 813. Okay, Leo, your current situation with you and your person, what is your person's overall energy? <clears throat> Leo. We have wrong timing, false twin flame, and higher self. Okay, so your person could feel like things were off when they the two of you met, that they are in their higher self energy right now, figuring out that the two of you were not in the same vibration, not in the same energy, and that maybe you two thought you were twin flames or soulmates, but they're feeling now that maybe this was a false twin flame, that it really wasn't because you were not in alignment. It does look like this person was moving really slow in the past. Maybe they weren't opening up fully. They weren't giving their all when it came to the connection. And that could be because they weren't really buying into that you were maybe twin flames or soulmates. Maybe the two of you had discussed it, but they don't truly believe that that's what it was. And so they weren't coming fully in union with you. They were not either physically with you or they were not connecting and bonding with you on a soul level. There clearly was some ego and pride that maybe blocked the situation or from this person. But right now they are curious. They are working on themselves, trying to figure out what their higher self is and what their life purpose is. And they're curious to see what you're doing. They see that maybe you are having some sense of stability, some sense of security, maybe you are working. 
and this is somebody who thinks about the potential of having a new beginning with you. They want to have an honest conversation at some point with you that they want to try to reinvest in this connection because of the longevity and the time invested in the past. Yeah, they're definitely um, coming in with that page energy, but what you don't see hidden, Leo, is they're coming in with a lot of burden and a lot of heavy energy, not a lot of positive energy. 10-10 on the clock. Channel song is Intentions, Justin Bieber. So use your intuition, Leo. Virgo. Ten thirty. Okay, Virgo. Your current situation with you and your person. What is the overall energy? Virgo and their person. Divine Masculine, I'm sorry, Apology, and within a few months. Okay, so your person's in this energy stuck in their head that they need to be very much in control, that they need to be in charge. They're not in their feelings and emotions. They're in this direct order, strong energy. So it does look like, yeah, they, they want to be very clear cut and clear with what is their intentions. It does look like they want to maybe keep this in the friend zone situation. This could be somebody that you work with. This could be somebody that you maybe are in the same line of work, but you work for different companies, but they wanna be truthful with you that that's directly what they want. They want to just collaborate as friends or coworkers. This apology is here because maybe they lied to you. Maybe they told you they were interested in you. Maybe they did some love bombing. But this person doesn't have any compassion at this point. They maybe uh, manipulated your emotions a little bit to get you to like them, and now they're sorry about that. Sometime in the next few months, the realization is gonna hit this person. It's gonna stress them out that they really messed things up, that they did the wrong thing. They may try to return back to you, but they're coming back to you in this lustful energy. So just make sure you're using your intuition because they may tell you, oh, I want something solid, I want something secure, but the end result is they're just gonna hurt you all over again. So when this communication comes in, just be aware of it that you need to use your intuition to guide you on if this person is being authentic or not. Channel song is It's Your Love by Tim McGraw. Libra. <clears throat> Libra, 1237. Okay, Libra, your current situation. Is the situation between Libra and their person right now? Rejection, soul contract, and distance. So your person is feeling rejection, or maybe they're rejecting you. Even though they feel that soul tie, they feel that compatibility, they feel that bond, there is distance here, whether it's physical or emotional distance. Yeah, it does look like your person has pushed you away. They've tried to create distance. Maybe they told you they didn't want to be in a relationship or they broke up with you. They said they wanted to be single. This is somebody who at one point were, was really pouring into this connection. They were emotionally invested. They were very hopeful and optimistic, but things changed really quickly. There could have been somebody else that was involved in the situation that made this person feel triggered to want to create this distance between the two of you. Yeah, they feel like it was fated for them not to give you this opportunity. There is this sense of accepting that things are over. This person is going to do a lot of reflection after the fact. They're gonna recognize they did hurt you, but they're still not gonna to want to have a new beginning. That's something that they're doing a lot of soul searching and seeking the truth is that they're not ready for a relationship. And that could be why they pushed you away. Even if there was a strong bond, just because someone does have a soul tied with you doesn't mean that you're vibrating at the same level, Libra. And maybe this person just does not have the capacity at this point in their life to give you what you currently desire because your frequencies are not matching up energetically. The channeled song is If I Could Turn Back Time by Cher. Scorpio. Fourteen thirty-five. Okay, Scorpio, your current situation. Let's see what's going on between you and your person, Scorpio.
Divine Feminine, Higher Self, and Wrong Timing. Okay, so this person is in their feelings and emotions. They are reflecting on some hurt and pain maybe that they have. They're very aggressive about thinking about it. They could feel like you were the right person, but you came into their life at the wrong timing. They don't have their life together. They don't have anything to really offer. And that's really affecting this person emotionally that they're having to hold back because you are the perfect candidate. Yeah, this is somebody who definitely made a drastic change and they're feeling it. They're overwhelmed with these feelings and emotions, but they are holding back not telling you these feelings and emotions. This is somebody who is not trying to communicate what they're thinking. They do desire to be with you on a spiritual level. They feel that you are somebody who could really be everything in their life, but it's not the right time. They don't have their situation together. They don't have their life together. And that's what's hurting this person is they can't invest. They just don't have the time. They don't have the capacity. They don't have the effort. They maybe had been juggling you with other priorities and everything just fell apart that they weren't able to give you what you truly needed. They knew that things were going to be one-sided and that's why maybe this person made the necessary change. And it's making this person emotional because they're not able at this point in their life to realign those other priorities or responsibilities. It's too much or it's too more. More, too much more responsibility on that side than for them to try to make this work. Yeah, it does look like there is not going to be victory and success here. This person maybe was a little bit naive or careless with your feelings and emotions. Deep down, they do know that you are their wish fulfillment. And this is a something that is really affecting this person. The channeled song is still into you by Paramore. Sagittarius. Sixteen forty-five. Okay, Sagittarius, your current situation. What is your person's overall energy, Sagittarius? Discovery, telepath, and soul purpose. So your person is discovering who they are and who you are to them. They're discovering what their purpose in life is. They're discovering what the sole purpose is for the two of you. This could be something that is elevating for this person. It does look like this person is somebody from your past, somebody that they think quite heavily about you. They think about healing the things between the two of you, healing this connection. Yeah, this is somebody who, it could be a Libra or a Leo that you're dealing with, Sagittarius, but they're hopeful and optimistic maybe for the future. This is somebody who doesn't want to pursue other options. They don't want to pursue other people or the possibility of other people. They're very focused on reconciliation. They're very focused on healing and pouring into the situation with you. We have Leo energy again, Sagittarius. So this person is working up their strength and courage. They are recognizing that their sole purpose is to be with you. And they're very diligent. They're very consistent with wanting that. They could come towards you with a little bit of aggressive energy because they want to go back and change the past. They want to surrender and let things go from the past. But they are coming towards you also with a lot of passion and chemistry with wanting to be with you channeled song is Best I Ever Had by Drake. Capricorn. Eighteen thirty nine. Okay, Capricorn, your current situation between you and your person. What is the overall energy between Capricorn and their person? Capricorn. Free will within a year and lies. Okay, so Capricorn, your person maybe chose to be independent. They chose to be free from the situation. And sometime within a year, whatever lies they told you may actually come to light. So if you are not in contact with this person, you may find out the truth of the matter about the situation with this person. It does look like this person is completely holding back from you. Things were very one-sided and they don't see victory and success in the current energy with this connection. Even though they may love you, they may have compassion for you, they don't feel that you maybe were being honest with them. So they maybe feel like you owe them an apology, especially if you did lie to them also. They are in this energy of wanting to just be independent and free. 
at one point they did see you as a wish fulfillment and they did see you as somebody they wanted to be with but now they're pushing that away they're they're feeling that there is a sense of insecurity or instability with the connection and they could just be wanting to pursue other opportunities or have the fantasy and illusion of you but not the reality of the connection channeled song is you got it bad by usher aquarius Twenty twenty. Okay, Aquarius, your current situation. What is the current situation for Aquarius and this person? Hidden feelings, solitude, and inner child. Okay, so your person has some feelings and emotions that they haven't expressed. They are spending some time alone, maybe thinking about returning, but they are moving really slow because there's some inner child wounds that this person is having when it comes to the situation. It's being triggered or reactivated. Yeah, this could be a cycle that you closed out with this person or you felt like closed out, but this person hasn't closed out their feelings and emotions. So Aquarius, if you broke up with this person and you could still feel them energetically, it's because they still have a lot of feelings and emotions for you. It's something that weighs very heavy on this person. They are thinking about how they can overcome the hurt and pain while in solitude. They're trying to continue to move forward. But this is someone who is gaining the truth and clarity that the situation with you has triggered some inner child wounds that this person has not wor worked through yet. They could be going through the dark night of the soul right now, trying to figure out what they need to do to heal them. In the near future, it does look like their actions is they do love you. And if they could choose all over again, they would pour back into this connection. They're hopeful and optimistic that if they transition away in the current energy, that maybe they can manifest you later down the road once they've worked through these inner child wounds. Channeled Song is Ready or Not by Wycliffe. Pisces. Twenty-two fifteen. Okay, Pisces, your current situation. What is the overall energy for your person, Pisces? Separation, free will, and soulmate. Okay, Pisces, so this could have been a soulmate um, bond that you had with this person. They are feeling the separation and the divide. They feel like there is this free will that they want to be independent. Even though they do love you, they do see you as a soulmate. The compatibility is really strong between the two of you. This is somebody who does want non-commitment right now. They don't want to be committed in the current energy. Yeah, they're not coming towards you passionately with commitment. They're wanting the separation. They need the time apart. This is somebody who is trying to seek what the truth is when it comes to who they are as a person and what they want in their life. They're trying to gain their own stability with this independence. They're maybe working on their finances. They could be going to school. They could be opening a business, but they are trying to gain their own sense of security outside of this connection. It's not that they don't love you. They do love you. They did fall in love with you and they did have this strong compatibility with you, but there is a sense of them needing to step back and separate. Maybe they lost a lot of who they were as a person in this connection and that has forced this person to want to be separate so that they can really regrow and connect who they are. They do feel that because of the past and the histories, they do love the memories that the two of you shared. They do obsessively still think about it. Now, in the near future, it does look like they are thinking towards the future if they could possibly reconcile with you. If they could heal things, if the two of you could come back together, they would be really consistent and wanting to be honest with you that their consistency would hopefully win you back and that they, the two of you could come back in reconciliation and have victory and success in the near future. Channel song is My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion.